So this is at the very end. So Renton and, and Hannah are outside and they see this boundary. They see this circle around their home. Mm-hmm. And I did not understand what it is and why it's there. Okay, so hold on. So this, this circle looks like like this. Yes. This is the dark circle. Mm-hmm. And then this is the house they are in. Yep. So somehow this circle is like that. And this is what the circle looks like. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's petrified. It feels petrified. What is it? I think it's a boundary. Time loop ends here. So only time inside the circle has been moving? There's the circle. Oh, and the desolation, my god. So I don't get it. So, so I mean, super cool, visually, like very stark, very stunning. But yep. my understanding of the arc was that the closer you are to the arc, the stronger yep. the effects of the time looping. And so the further away, then the weaker the effects. And so here we're shown the boundary, but shouldn't this be where there's no looping? So shouldn't this be kind of normal? And, and so I, what I would imagine is that on the inside, you get this just dried grass that's underneath underneath of Renton's hand. Yeah, but on right. the outside, on the left side, that should just be regular time. And so if they're saying that this thing's been looping for thousands of years or whatever, then shouldn't just everything beyond the circle all be petrified? So I I interpreted it slightly differently. Oh. I was thinking that this is the hard cutoff. Okay. And everything in here is going through the time loop. And the, the farther away you are from the center of the arc, mm-hmm. the more the memories get transferred from one loop to the, uh, to yeah, the next. Yeah, because it's weaker. But this, yeah. right, but this entire thing is going through time loop. Yep, I agree. And then this is normal time. Mm-hmm. And then somehow, so if they're doing a three-hour time loop, the loop will go through maybe potentially unlimited loops, but it'll always reset. So like this, if this is dry grass and this is dry grass, when the time loop begins, it does. This side does one loop, and it's it resets, so it's dry grass again. So this is always reset. So this is all. These two will always match, but maybe the boundary is where somehow the time loop actually goes forward. It actually feels the effects every time. So this could potentially be millions of years of loops, all mm. compounded on top of one another, whereas this one's truly looping and this one's just normal. That's how I interpreted it. Okay, I can. Okay, I, I guess maybe I still feel like the outside should have progressed on with forward time, which would mean that stuff is is aging. But what you're saying is that this is kind of the meshing point between the right side, which is looping mm-hmm. time, and the left side, which is forward time. But actually, what the arc does is. I guess more maybe from the inside's perspective, it looks yeah. like the outside's not looping. And so this middle ground is the kind of, I don't know ground. Yeah. So mm-hmm. this is the part that experiences both times. So it, it gets the, the loops, which means it's actually progressed through lots of years, Yeah. but also it's being applied linearly because it's on the boundary. So then the result, like of, the result of that is petrification. Whereas the right side yeah. gets just looped fully and the left side doesn't yeah. get loops at all. Mm-hmm. So I guess okay. it has to, this is some sort of many worlds interpretation. So potentially the loop could be exited for each loop. And so however many loops that they went through is an additional oh. universe. Okay. Yeah, that's that's plausible then if we do a many worlds interpretation. Mm-hmm. Whereas you were thinking that this, so if we do a thousand loops then this side should have aged, uh, aged a thousand times three hours. Right. And this side should have aged normally. Right. So I did so, a black hole interpretation, a single universe mm-hmm. black hole interpretation, where yeah. your time is kind of unknown inside the black hole. Like we have mm-hmm. no idea what happens to time in there. And so from the outside universe, we you, you would look at the house and be like, there's a weird thing that 
time is weird in there. I don't know. Time is weird. Yeah. So it does it does whatever it wants to. Right? Yeah. So, uh, but from the outside, it would mm-hmm. you would so from the from the inside, you would see the outside universe have normal time, and it would just progress mm-hmm. like normal. And then from the outside, you would just look into a a, a time hole. Yeah, it would be like it would, so. In your interpretation, you'd look if you're look, if you're on the outside of the circle looking in, you'd see the house resetting every three hours that's right that's right like what and so heck? like you'd go into winter and snowing outside but on the inside of the house it's still whatever season this is right and then i think from my interpretation it was if i'm on the outside i just i don't even notice i just progress through the three hours like normal and one of the loops is exited on my timeline and that can that's the one that continues on and which i don't sure. know how it's chosen but well, just you would spin up a new timeline every time it looped. Mm-hmm. So, sure, sure. Time looping, mm, sure. time travel is counterintuitive. 